We're about to get started with SMAW stick welding. In this case, we're going to set up our HDP America 221 machine, which is our favorite TIG welder, liquid cooled, that will also function in AC and DC stick welding modes. Your machine may not have the same modes that this machine offers. We have access to AC, DC, straight and reverse polarity. We'll describe each of those modes and where they're used as I set up this HDP Invertig 221 machine. The versatility of the HDP Invertig 221H AC and DC machine makes it possible to do stick mode welding. We have several adjustment parameters to work with, but to start with, we'll convert the machine by mode to stick welding or arc welding. We're now in arc welding mode. Since we're no longer TIG welding, we'll simply disconnect the TIG function. And this gives us access to the negative polarity jack. As you can see, the minus here, this side being positive. Here's the electrode holder with a stick rod in it and the cable that goes into either negative or positive polarity plugs. In this case, let's go ahead and plug it into the negative plug socket, the same one that was used just a moment ago for TIG. So if we have electrode negative going into this socket, this socket, the electrode positive, is actually going to our ground clamp. So we have electrode negative, EN, and ground positive. Going back to our control panel, notice that we have the mode set for stick. Amperage is currently at 135, voltage is 13.9, 14 volts. We now have it set in AC mode, AC is on. So what is adjustable on this machine, we can adjust right from this panel and dial the amperage. Raising and lowering the amperage for different electrode sizes and thicknesses of metal. There's 125 amps, 13.9 volts. AC mode, stick. Simple as that, the 221 machine is now ready to weld in AC stick mode at 125 amps. The great thing about the Invertig 221 machine in AC mode, you can actually adjust the frequency, AC frequency. Here we'll set the frequency. Go back up to 200. Here's our amperage setting, very quick, back to 125. We can set the AC balance too, by percentage. On the right is the frequency, on the left is the balance setting. And we can go anywhere from 10 to 90%. That would be a balance of 50 and 200 on frequency. 50% balance, 200 frequency, and an AC amperage of 125. A higher AC balance percentage gives you more electrode negative, so you get more penetration in your weld, less cleaning, and your tungsten would run cooler if you were TIG welding. A lower AC balance gives you more electrode positive, which is more cleaning, less penetration, but your tungsten runs hotter. Okay, let's emphasize this again. If we want to set up the Invertig 221 machine for DC electrode negative, then the electrode holder cable would be going into the negative or electrode negative plug. This would apply to your machine if it's DC and has a negative and a positive plug receptacle. At the same time, the ground would be going to the positive side. This is the electrode negative DC mode. Ground goes to the positive side. 
So we're now ready to weld DC mode electrode negative. This is conventional. Now, let's say we want to go to reverse polarity. And reverse polarity would be a good mode to use for, say, overhead welding. We disconnect the electrode plug and we place the ground into the negative. So now the ground piece, let's say the overhead frame, if you will, or whatever you're welding, motor mounts, frame, goes into negative. The plug receptacle for positive now becomes the electrode holder cable plug. So again, the electrode holder is now plugged into positive and the ground is in the negative. This is reverse polarity and this would be a good mode for overhead welding in stick. Another great feature of the Invertig 221 machine, we can actually pulse weld and set a pulse frequency even when we're stick welding. We can use the pulse mode. As you can see now, pulse is on, AC is on, stick mode is on. With the electrode holder cable plugged into negative and the ground plug cable plugged into positive, we are in the electrode negative mode or straight polarity DC. Again, we can easily switch to AC mode by simply pressing the AC mode button. As you can see, frequency came up as 200. We can check our frequency. Frequency is set at 200. Balance is set at 50 percent. Amperage is at 125 amps and the voltage is at 13.8. This is a very easy machine to set up, responsive to changes in pulse, frequency, balance, and amperage. We're now set up and ready to run the machine in AC mode. We're at 125 amps, AC, we have the electrode holder plugged into the negative plug and the ground plugged into the positive plug. And in our very next session, we're going to start welding in AC mode.